Hello everybody, welcome to my channel again. Today I have to show you a new tent from the North Face. So this is the North Face Sequoia 6 person tent. If you follow this brand then you are probably familiar with this uh, name. In fact, uh, th they had uh, the name with the word Sequoia, the tent with the word Sequoia in the name. And here is the picture at REI. Uh, this tent is not uh, available any longer but you see that this was a completely different structure a tent with a huge uh, vestibule and you could describe it as an extended dome however what you have now is uh, a dome style tent again but uh, without vestibule and this is a single layer shelter so all the fabric that uh, the tent includes is visible in the picture. This is a single layer. There is no inner tent here. The shape, as you realize, is uh, dome uh, type, but the poles are pre-bent. And uh, this adds a lot of volume inside. And the sides are quite steep, so the tent looks almost like a cabin type of shelter uh, they have added also this short pole that uh, makes the door more practically vertical so this uh, as well adds to the volume inside the the tent is quite uh, tall it is more than 190 centimeters so you see with such steep walls and such a height uh, this is a quite uh, roomy structure, but I will say more about the numbers below. There is only one door here. This is U-shaped, as you see, and it is uh, two-layer uh, type. So you have a panel and a mesh, and you can both uh, roll up and fix under the roof. There is also one rear window, which, can, which they describe as an ex, uh, emergency uh, exit. This is uh, the mini is that both layers that you have, mesh and panel, are actually zippered, so you can uh, open it completely. So the, this is the rear view of the tent, and again you realize how uh, steep the, the walls are. and. Uh, Again, uh, this is not a simple dome, it's more than that. Inside you have a few pockets uh, to keep your stuff organized. And there are two internal loops uh, to attach lanterns. Uh, regarding the material, uh, the poles are aluminum and you have them three. So two of them support the tent, uh, they create this X uh, structure and uh, they attach to the base through grommets that you have here there are uh, clips on the on the on the sides and on, on the roof you have a long uh, sleeves uh, this is aluminum so uh, good material uh, but uh, again uh, this is reflected uh, in the price as well uh, regarding the the fabric it's a polyester and uh, i would describe it as a typical 75d uh, and it is recycled uh, polyester it's important to stress the waterproof rating is 1200 millimeters so this doesn't look much but in reality you don't need really more uh, and um, they offer a footprint you can order it separately it is the same denier value 75d but the rating is 1500 so you can order it separately and uh, use it to protect the the floor but actually uh, i see it better used as a, a awning in front of the tent you can attach it and create extra uh, area for sitting and also to uh, keep your gear at least partly protected uh, this is the footprint uh, so you have the usual uh, design with the, these grommets 
uh, ventilation of the tent i would say it's not optimal but uh, you have two large vents on the roof however there are no uh, roof there are no floor vents here as you see the uh, the window on the on the rear side and the front door are both with mesh and this of course will work great uh, as long as the sky is clear but this is not always so so when you have to uh, close the door and the window in the case of rain and it can be for many hours then you would want to have uh, extra floor uh, vents which are missing here i um, have an experience with such uh, single layer tents i have one that has uh, three floor vents and two uh, roof vents and it is uh, i use it uh, as a solar tent and also it's a two person tent and i can tell you it's always wet from inside so you have to dry such a structure and um, something similar is here at this single layer tent with two roof vents but no floor vents and uh, of course uh, you have to dry this tent whenever you use it so when you when you come home you can add, uh, put it on a on your terrace or in the, on the porch uh, on a string and then dry from outside and then turn it uh, inside out and then uh, this will uh, allow it to dry from inside uh, regarding the numbers and best use of this tent uh, the the area is 7.5 square meters and the official rating is six people so if you see the dimensions i gave them here in the specifications uh, it's indeed possible to put six uh, sleeping pads on the floor but uh, you wouldn't have much space uh, left and uh, the tent can indeed accommodate six people but uh, to be, to be realistic, it is best to, to downgrade it uh, to maximum four people or so. Regarding best use, uh, you have seen how it looks. It's a single layer design uh, and it is fully closable. So I have no doubt that you can use it uh, year round. Uh, I would say that it is better suited for a cooler environment than for warm weather camping and uh, wet areas with lots of rain because uh, the, you have to keep uh, the door and the window closed in that case uh, regarding the the general shape uh, you have seen the the poles are from outside so uh, when you when you are in in rain for example you you attach the poles and then raise the tent from the ground uh, while the, the inner remains protected and this is uh, what is normally called as a dry setup uh, setup and uh, this is something uh, useful i know this from my own uh, experience with such tents but on the other hand uh, the door uh, let's go back to show you again the door is uh, not protected uh, by by any uh, awning or brim on the front there there is no vestibule so actually this is uh, not a dry entry point uh, when you open the door and it rains you will have the, uh, the water inside so you see there are good and bad sides of this design regarding the weight uh, it is 5.5 kilograms and when you see the, the area uh, you realize that this is actually a very light tent and one reason for this is of course because this is a single layer tent and um, with aluminum poles and it's not particularly large for at least for six people as i said it's uh, 7.5 square meters but on the other hand the pack size is not so great uh, i'm actually surprised that it is uh, not uh, less bulky the numbers are given here so for uh, such a size and for a single layer tent uh, my rating for the for the pack size is actually quite low I use the same rating criteria for all the uh, tents here in the site so you can easily compare the tent is uh, essentially uh, similar to 
yet another tent that I have described here in the, sand, uh, in the site, and this is a big Agnes dog house, six person. As you see, uh, very similar structure, just the the short pole here is uh, it crosses the two main poles, which is uh, different from the from the tent that you have here, where the front the short pole is uh, on the front and makes the the door vertical. Uh, the door is vertical here as well in the big Agnes tent, but uh, this is a different design. There is a small brim here that protects the door at least uh, partly. So this could be described as a dry. Uh, uh, entry point. Actually, I plan to make a comparison between these two tents, so I, there will be another uh, text in my site, one tent again versus another. Uh, what else to mention here? <clears throat> the price. Well, the, the if you follow the links here in the in the post, you will see that it's a bit, I would say, steep price, but uh, uh, still reasonable for for the tent of that size. So uh, my overall rating for the tent is quite high as you see. Uh, it's uh, a bit small for six people uh, but the weight is good. Pack size is far less good and uh, you have full protection in this tent. It's very easy to use. One person can do this easily and uh, overall rating of four of course is uh, very good. So uh, Please follow the link below the video. You can come here to the site and read this text in detail. And uh, if you find uh, this presentation useful, please give me a like and uh, consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.